Welcome, Clash Crew, Crew, to another episode of Diamond Dynasty. We got a team build of players born in December today. The starting pitcher will be Blake Snell. The lineup consists of Ozzy Smith at shortstop, Byron Buxton in center, Christian Yelich in left, Pete Alonso first base, Brandon Marsh in right, Craig Biggio's catching, Chase Utley at second, and Javier Baez as the third baseman. You know the team, but there's one thing I don't know, and that's how was your Christmas, Kleshka crew, I would like to know. A few things that I got are actually right here around me. This that you're seeing right here, I got an arm for my mic. So now I can move it, I can do all kinds of things with it. I could be all the way back here and you guys could hear me perfectly fine because this arm allows me to do such things. I actually asked for this mic arm because I want to start a podcast, hopefully soon. Is that something you guys would wanna see? Please let me know by liking the video, commenting, those are all ways that help. Another thing that I have right by me that I got for Christmas is this cool custom bat. Check this out. I'm gonna hold it up to the camera so you guys can see the engravings. Has my name, says I got this, Kleshka Vlogs. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's in the colors of Spidey. That's awesome, that was from my parents. I really love that. So overall, a good Christmas, but Kevin, Jack, Sally, Dylan, everybody watching right now, I wanna know how your Christmas went. Talk about it in the comments. I'll be looking at those comments, so make sure you leave one down below. And I just also wanna say to everybody watching right now that subscribes, likes the videos, comments, that I appreciate it so much. I'll be straight up honest with you, this is my job. This is what I do, it's what I love. Couldn't do it without you guys, and I appreciate each and every one of you so much. So when I'm putting effort into these videos, all day, all night, recording, editing, and I see that love returned, that really does mean a lot, and I appreciate everybody that does that, so thank you. We got Ozzy Smith lead off against Roy Halladay, that's a ball down low, we don't want that. We're playing in Houston, not the most Christmassy stadium that comes to my mind, and that ball is going to get over the second baseman, falling into the gap, Ozzy Smith is going to make it two, and we got ourselves a lead off double. Buxton is right after him. Oh no, right in front of the plate. At least it'll move Ozzy. Oh, oh, beat it out. Yes, sir. Let's go. Christian Yelich to follow. Gonna get contact right away. Not gonna be a double play, hopefully. Yes. Run scores. We're already up 1-0. Let me try playing all the way back here. Because now that I have this mic arm, I can literally move as far back as I want. Or at least as far back as this arm will let me but it's pretty cool and i'm excited that i'll hopefully be able to start a podcast soon and i think you guys will be excited who my partner will be on that podcast we got a one two count and that ball damn it if i was sitting high and in that would have been crushed into the crawford boxes i also don't have to talk as loud because i can put this right in front of my mouth and if i speak in a normal volume it sounds fine compared to when i didn't have a mic on and the mic would sit on my desk I had to ooh, almost got hit right there I had to talk a little bit louder like it'd be like all the way over here probably to get up the middle oh uh, come on Roy Halliday it would be farther away from me when I didn't have a mic arm so I'd have to talk loud and everything would have to be like boom bam bingle and this will also be a good test for my podcast that I get to learn how to work the audio with a mic arm arm what volume i should be speaking at and all that you know technical stuff ozzy smith playing in the shift one out it's funny because this video that you're watching right now i originally thought this was going to be my christmas video because i didn't know if i was going to be doing anything big or crazy for christmas to make a video on and then we did the christmas special for softball so i did a behind the scenes for that and i thought that was going to be my christmas video here on the channel and then i was on tiktok one day chartreuse sent me a tiktok of somebody's entire room getting wrapped and she wanted to do it and i said how about jasmine and she was down oh yeah there we go blake snell nice strikeout she was all right with being the distraction getting her out of the house 
and we ended up wrapping Jasmine's entire room in wrapping paper. If you haven't seen that vlog, go check out that vlog. It was awesome. It was fun. And that's an example of like a lot of work that I put into the videos here on the channel. And if you guys are showing them love, you're sharing the videos, you're subscribing, you're running back on a ball for Byron Buxton to catch, then I really do appreciate you so much. It really does mean a lot because I put so much time into my work move the camera a little bit so i'm more centered biggio pops up okay damn he's playing catcher today that ball's going right to there catcher trying to think of other things i got this christmas obviously clothes is always something that seems to come oh that's out the end of the bat uh, I, that was you know pci'd pretty well i'm not gonna lie with this mic arm I could play standing up. Not gonna, oh my God. Should we try playing standing up? We're gonna try it. There we go. We got the mic up here. I'm standing up. Albert Pujols lining it. Buxton is fast and he has the out. Of course, Buxton's gonna catch it. We just have to hope he doesn't trip over a sunflower seed and injure himself. Corey Seager up and striking out. I love it. And I just got a notification from TikTok that it's time to post my TikTok now. You know what? I'm gonna do that on video. I will post my TikTok now and then you guys can go see it and you'll know that you were here for it. I got my phone in hand, but I got to finish this inning. Salvador Perez fouls it off. Damn it. He's putting up a battle. Two strikes. Come on. We got to post this TikTok now, Salvador. And that'll be lined out there to Brandon Marsh. We got a good fielding outfield today. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take a picture this way first. You guys will know I'm standing up like this. And then we got to take the selfie. Mm, there we go that is the tiktok now that you will be able to see and blake's now leading off and whew. yeah you guys should uh follow me on tiktok if you haven't already ozzy smith getting that off the end of the bat almost fell in i gotta be careful with the volume on this bro because i've never been able to have the mic this close to my mouth while i record so when i do my yelling it's probably going to be really loud. Byron Buxton, and he also gets it off the end of the bat. Man, that has been the trend of us today. As long as we hold this 1-0 lead. Wow, that's the end of the inning already for us, batting-wise. Damn, I'm not going to lie. Standing and playing it feels pretty good. And this doesn't feel good. We have the shift on. That's going to fall. Christian Yell just chasing it down. Oh, and that's a leadoff double, too. With a 1-0 to zero lead, that is not what we want to see. I don't want to see him tag up on this because I feel like he actually might have a chance of making it. Brandon Marsh with the gun. Did he get him? I love Brandon Marsh, bro. Let's go. I just saw the audio recording. I can see the little spikes of volume, and that looked like it was really loud. So sorry if it was. Chase Utley going to make this bare hand, or bare hand back can play nice job i know i apologized for that volume but if i am gonna get hype i'm gonna get loud and this is not something i enjoy seeing a hit that would have been up the middle go right into the shit <laughs> and plus if i play standing i can be like all over the place like if something hype happens i can run around i don't have to get out no 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 seriously really i want to hit a no doubt home run with this brandon marsh card so badly i don't think you guys understand and that ball hit opposite way snagged still up one to zero so i am loving that and wow i didn't expect that to be put in play if i'm being honest the game kind of like froze for like half a second so i thought it was just gonna be a ball but one out juanito soto hits it for a home run and we are tied now damn it you know i also wonder if i'm standing up what does this look like manny machado to follow the pitch from snell and that'll be up the middle this is not good i never have it on while i'm recording because oh oh that's gonna stay in the park okay we're good we're fine i never have it on because it messes up the lighting when i'm recording i have a ring light behind the camera that you guys can't see and when that's on and this is on, it just doesn't look right. And if I turn the ring light off and I have that one on back there, then I get backlit and I look like a shadow. So it just like the lighting never looks good. He's got the O2, I'm going high and in. And yeah, sit down, hit that button. Wait for it to turn on trust me it will eventually there it goes we'll do we'll do one round of hitting with it on why not from what i can see what i'm looking at on my camera 
it looks like everything's darker. It was Craig Biggio going to fly out and getting jammed. I hate getting jammed. See, look at that. Look how dark it got right there. When I'm recording, it just it makes everything look weird. Chase Utley getting that down the line. It falls. We're going to go for two. Have your buy a little RBI opportunity opportunity that's gonna stay in play no more blake snell ricky henderson also born in december ricky hopefully getting a hit and we'll take a walk ozzy smith two outs gonna get it up the middle and we will have an rbi for ozzy 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 we're gonna do a little suicide squeeze with iron buxton i hope he can beat this out the run definitely scored buxton is definitely safe we are being toxic with our speed in this inning i do not care that's one inning of batting i'm turning it off so everything can look normal again bringing in peter fairbanks and yes he's born in december salvador perez is gonna ground it to ozzy 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 oi 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 one out. Kyle Tucker. Oh, look at this. Peter Fairbanks making some quick work. DJ LeMayhew. Oh, two. Gonna get that jam pop up. Three outs. Peter Alonzo, the leadoff man. Gonna get it way up over the Crawford boxes. And that, oh, it hit off the wall. I was hoping it'd go onto the train track. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo, solo shot. Brandon Marsh saying, oh, why'd I drop the PCI? You had it exactly where it needed to be, Austin. And you just moved it at the last second. Craig Biggio next, getting that possibly up the middle. No, he's able to shade and get the out. And I can't even tell who's batting right now. Oh, it's Chase Utley. And get over his head no how now this is the december baby team build but how are my kleshka crew babies watching this video right now when were you guys born i am a june baby so i do wonder what month were you guys born are there any fellow june babies watching right now i can tell you we just pumped that fastball right by him for a strikeout here's why i love being born in june it's the per oh hold on this is the perfect thing we needed chase holly to start the double play and we got it we out of it being born in june is great because if you think about the biggest gift giving holidays you will have in a year it's your birthday and it's christmas and being born in june is enough recovery time for friends and family to get gifts for your birthday and christmas they got six months equally both times javier baez does has nothing compared to like if you're born in december even early january your birthday gifts and your christmas gifts kind of mix so that's why i think being born in june is elite and plus it's in the summertime and we all know if you're watching this video you love baseball and it's prime baseball time i mean come on i love it oh no i don't love that and every couple of years i get lucky enough to the point where my favorite team is oh ozzy underneath I'm already going to tell you that's going to be it out. I don't think it was on my birthday. Did a vlog. Shohei Otani broke his single game strikeout record. He got 13 Ks in one game. I went for my birthday and Cap was there. Mobo was there. The fam was there. This ball will be there in Brandon Marsh's glove. And I got to say, if you're not commenting on this video, I'm going to be a little hurt because I've given you plenty to comment about. How was your Christmas? What kind of gifts did you get? What month? Do you guys born Brandon Marsh getting a lot of action in this inning? I'm telling you, Brandon Marsh would comment. I just really appreciate it. And Corey Seeger turns that around and has no wait, Brandon Rob. No, we just need one more out. That's all we need. And we're not gonna get it there. All right, Heinen, can you strike out already? Oh my god, Juan Soto's been fouling off every single pitch that I've thrown. Please swing and miss, my guy. I didn't call it. Thank you. Manny Machado. Right back to Presley. Let's go. Okay, that's two outs. Albert, get him on one pitch. Okay. No, 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 no. Ryan Presley, that is not what we're doing. And I'm going to trust you to get one more out. There it is. Corey Seager to Chase Utley. Game. That's right. The December born babies pull it off. <laughs> My new bat just fell on my foot if you made it to the end of the video i want you to comment december wins baseball games like the video subscribe tell your mommy daddy grandma grandpa pets friends brother sister and uncle everybody you know i got this you got this we all got this and i'll see you next time subscribe <laughs>